all three videos today. Uh, let's jump into it. <laughs> But anyway, um, we're going to talk about this. Oh, sorry for the no videos for the past two days. The day before yesterday, I had a side-splitting brain-hammering migraine. Um, and I just wanted to curl up into a ball and die. Um, and yesterday, I, I was editing videos all day. And I just, I was just, I had enough of editing for the day. So I was just like, I was doing videos for the gaming channel. Um, but yeah, it's going to look really good. Um, but it's about gaming, so you guys... Anyway, let's jump into it. Let's let's knock these two or three videos out for the day. Uh, we're going to talk about these nurses because the mainstream media wants to push a narrative that these are the brave nurses that are standing up to protesters. Okay, my question is this. How do we know they're nurses? What, because they're wearing uniforms? Okay. If I'm... Wearing a uniform of a doctor. Does that make me a doctor? Necessarily? No, it doesn't really, does it? And, and you know, then, then people are going to turn around and say, well, but they're wearing the uniform. How'd they get the uniform? Um, let me actually go through and show you guys something. Up against protesters. CNN has done a story about this. Um, but they've done some retroactive editing because, you know, why not? So here's the CNN story here. Watch healthcare workers take a stand against protesters. Seems to be a bit of a different language than they were using originally. Uh, good thing stealth editing is something that's, uh, that is used, isn't it? Uh, here's another one. Uh, that uh, Go to China. Nurses hailed for blocking anti-you-know-what Karen at you-know-what protests. Now, the interesting thing was it was written at 11.35 a.m. and edited it to 21 p.m. Roughly when the internet started asking a lot of questions, but anyway. But uh, health citizens are the ones, people standing between everyday citizens and the noble, you know what, if it doesn't everyday citizens value and own lives, blah, blah, blah. Now, in these stories, they've even had to admit they don't know if this guy or that girl is actually a healthcare worker. That Even the photographer who has taken the photo, this Alyssa McLaren, for example, even she's admitted they don't know. They've asked him, and the guy said he was a healthcare worker, but he refused to give his name, where he works, or anything like that. And just because it looks like a duck, doesn't mean it quacks like a duck. And, and we're starting to see this narrative pop up from the mainstream media about this. Like, for example, we've got this story here, which we're going to talk about. And, uh, oops, sorry, spoilers. But, here, look at these nurses, these brave people who ever meet. Stupid Trump supporter, blah, blah, blah. Who think the virus is fake, blah, 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 blah. But there's someone wrote down here, all I see is two people looking at each other. Um, uh, uh, I like this one, uh, sacrifice for liberty or safety or both, blah, blah, blah. Um, the virus is real. We know elderly immune system. Um, someone actually wrote that they don't think this person's actually a healthcare worker. Um, so that's what I say. Like, there's, there's a lot of these photos that are popping up right now. Um, someone actually wrote, uh, let me see if I can find... Uh, yeah, okay. So, someone's saying it's a false flag. Um, yeah, I saw it earlier. Can't find it now. This is the problem. It moves so fast. Hang on. Um, false. What was the false flag? False flag here. The woman is not a nurse. My mother is a nurse, has been, uh, has been 
for a little less than 30 years. That nurse is not following protocol. She's not wearing protective equipment like gloves and she's just standing around outside doing nothing. Actual nurses would uh, would lose their license in a week if they did this, you know what. Now, F off. This is staged false flag and a lot of people are agreeing with them. And I tend to see the point here that people are asking questions about this. So let's go through and let's have a look. Oh, no, sorry, not that one. Let's have a look at these these videos, right? At, at these footage, and let's try and work out whether it might be a false flag or not. So here's a photo of the guy. First thing I see, there's no gloves, no badges, no insignias for hospitals or anything like that. The guy has his mask on wrong for a start, and we'll get to that in a sec. And he's just standing there. It, to me, this is a scrub that you can buy off the internet, right? So I thought, well, can you do that? Can you go through and buy this uniform and that uniform off the internet? Now, pay attention to the waist, like where he's got there, right? Now, there's, I saw this and I thought, okay, it's a little different. You know, it's got a brand on it. It's a little different, so maybe you can't buy it. But then someone sent me this. And this in particular. That to me, that tie waist, looks a lot like the one that's on this uniform here. So I've asked a few people that work in the medical profession. And yes, scrubs actually do have those tie waists on them. But, like the guy who I was speaking to in um, kind of keeping him in anonymity for obvious reasons, has said there's no markings on this uniform. There's no insignias, there's no badges, there's no medical professions. It looks like a brand new scrub. And he was telling me that when you're in hospital, and I'm not going to mention names or anything like that, so don't bother asking, that if you get like someone that has an arterial bleed, what you do is you go into a room, you take off your scrubs, throw them into a bin or into a washing container, and they give you a new pack that is literally a sealed pack of scrubs. And you just put them on. And they're just like one size fits everybody, right? And that's the whole idea of the of the of the, the drawstrings. So I, I don't know. From what he's saying to me, this sort of uniform it, it looks really clean it doesn't look like it's been used it looks like someone's brought a uniform not that one we'll close that one not like a uniform off the internet and you can buy them in basically any color that you want here's all the colors here you probably get even different colors even if you try but there it is. They're all different colors, different styles. And yeah, and you know, this is from Uniform Advantage. Right, so the uniform itself doesn't necessarily lend him any sort of credence. Second thing I look at is the mask. The mask looks like it's wrong to me. So we went through and we found out. I, I know when I had my mask, because I had a cough and I had to go to the doctor and they wanted to check to see if I had, you know, the beer bug, and I don't, so don't worry. Um, but they gave me a mask, and when I was putting it on, they told me how to put it on. They said, you put it on around your ears, right? Like what this person here has done. But if you look at his mask, it's crisscrossed. It, one goes down, one goes up, and I, I sort of get that. But, as someone else mentioned, that's something like what a painter would do. Not necessarily someone that works in the health profession. That's like a painter's idea of how to put on a mask. And not only that, but if you go down to here, and these are the practices, the do's and don'ts for wearing procedural masks in non-surgical healthcare settings, don't crisscross ties. So... Look, at the end of the day, I'm not saying this guy is or isn't a nurse. 
But I get worried when there's a narrative that's being pushed by the mainstream media. That narrative is very much, look at these heroes. These are people that save lives. And even the media has had to go back and start retroactively editing their, their, their topics to start removing nurses from the headline because they're not even sure themselves. You know, you know, the media that will literally dox some old lady is not able to find out these nurses and who they are. It's weird that they, they don't seem to be very motivated, but regardless. But like I say, we're starting to get a whole flood of this narrative that's been pushed, and we're starting to see it here as well. You know, obviously this one has a, a mask that goes around her head. Like I said, I've, I've got one right here. I've got one that I had to wear when I went to hospital. No, not hospital, but for the doctors. And it doesn't, it doesn't actually fit like that. It's, it, it's very much like that. That's, that's exactly what I've got, actually. That one there, that mask. It's not the same one, but obviously, but that style. But these masks here look different. They look more like what you get from a painter. So I, I don't know. It, it's weird. It really is weird. And I just, I have a funny feeling that these here are staged events. I, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. It, it's, it's a great narrative for the Democratic Party. If you want someone to be sympathetic to these lockdown procedures, these these procedures that are literally stopping people from being able to leave their homes, that uh, is crushing the economy. And let's face it, the Democrats, they have a vested interest in crushing the economy because then they might win in November. It, I don't know, it just seems really weird, this whole situation. And it seems like we're getting a flurry of nurses who have taken time out to to do TikTok videos to supposedly stand on the front of doors and look menacing to people. I, I don't know. Someone actually mentions that here in the in the thing in the in the comments. It's good that, that nurses have uh, taken time out of TikTok videos to to stand people down. And look, obviously the whole optics of this is just wrong. Like these nurses are supposed to be protesting people who are leaving their house and endangering people to protest. So the nurses are leaving their house to protest the people that are leaving their house to protest. But you're no different than them, right? If the protesters are stupid for leaving their homes to protest, and if they're risking live lives and, and, and risking the exchange of possibly spreading beer bug because they're leaving their homes but you're leaving your home to protest them it's you, you get the sort of contradiction here but obviously mainstream media doesn't want to talk about that either I, I don't know guys I, I'm generally curious what do you guys think about these these photos like this photo here this photo here like we have this video right what do you guys think do you think at the end of the day these are staged events do you think they're false flags i i, I would not be surprised but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below personally i'm, I'm thinking they're, they're probably staged events because you know, the camera just happened to be there and, you know, capture it and blah, blah, blah. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video, so if this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.